What is going on, Herd? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning into the video. Today, we're actually going to be returning back to the Does It Drift video series, where we purchase vehicles in-game, build them up to drift spec, see if they have the ability to be drift cars. We have the Weevil. This may have just released, but you could have gotten this thing from English Dave, or maybe you were like me and the son of a gun never gave you his car. Another story for another time when it comes down to it at the end of the day. Today we do have the Weevil. We are finally going to get to test it. And I figured, you know what? Let's test it in the drift category first off. We are making a return back to get into the drift content consistently. So let's get right into today's video. We are not going to do any armor. I'm not going to do any brakes to begin with. But uh, I did notice that the handbrake in this car is pretty much non-existent. You got to kind of, you got to doctor it a little bit with the uh, left trigger there. So I'm going to leave it alone for the second being. Bumpers, let's see what we got i have never i've never driven this car i've never messed around with it never brought it in the los santos customs i know nothing really about this car at all haven't even watched any videos on it i was just a little upset when old english dave didn't give it to me i will say i have seen some thumbnails of this and this definitely seems to be more of a rally car than uh, what it's going to be as a drift car but you never know what a drift car is in gta until you test the dang thing oh uh, yeah see definitely definitely some fun rally stuff here definitely you know what let's let's just put a little bit of money into it let's let's delete the bumpers a lot Lots of exhaust. Wow, that's the stock exhaust. Okay, all right, that's making sense. I mean, for 1800, we'll open up the diameter of that a little bit. Explosives leaving alone. Fenders. What do we got for fenders? Oh, fantastic. This is going to be quite the rally build when we get to that. Definitely keep an eye open for that. I'm already liking this. Let's keep our head in the game here. Doing a drift build here. Well, let's see if this thing really even drifts. Let's not go crazy with this thing with the uh, build. Let's just do our main things that we need. Suspension. Let's take a look at the suspension. Oh, okay, so we're going to be camber gang on this thing. Being that the suspension will generally affect your speed boost, let's just go right down. Let's go like street, kind of somewhere in the middle, top, middle. See if we can even get a speed boost out of this car. Uh, transmission, we gotta throw that in. So we got the engine, the transmission, we need the turbo as well. Uh, let's just go with the true tried and tested SUVs. Do some dashes. Spoilers, obviously not gonna put any on because it's gonna... <laughs> Spo <laughs> yeah, that'll mess with the traction, so we're not gonna mess with that right now. Nah. I kind of like the way those running boards look. We'll do that. I don't know what category any of those fall into. Oh, I saw the, probably the piece, the hippie sign stuff, right? Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Roll cage, I'm just going to leave out of there for right now. Not a huge deal. We'll probably put one of those bad boys when we, uh, when we get... I keep thinking about the rally build too much. Oh, I can do a nice little two-tone on this bad boy. Let's do, just do a classic so it's not all weird looking. Let's just do it basic. I always want to... I always end up spending too much time on this stuff. So let's just keep her at the basic. Doesn't matter anyways for the drift build. A little bit of tint and we're off. As I say, it doesn't matter for the drift build. We need some tin. And we're off. It's nice to have the old vintage Beetle, right? All right, single gear. We got a little something, something going on. Let's see if we got a handbrake first. If not, I'm going to go put the brakes on once and see. Yeah, we have no handbrake. I mean, I don't even think it'll hardly slow me down if I hit it. Let's see. Wow, that is the most pitiful handbrake I've ever seen in my life. Let's go over here. I think the damn dump truck has a better handbrake than this thing. What's wrong with her? What are you talking about? It's got no handbrake. So let's just go straight up with the race brakes. Waste our 35k. Okay, the straight handbrake still not good. Let's see if the uh, with some inertia if it's any better. I just have to supplement in with the uh, left trigger to get that handbrake to engage a little better. That's all it really comes down to. I guess let's get this thing to the track and see if it stances up. A lot of these new vehicles haven't been stancing. I really think Rockstar's just trying to remove that whole coding from the game in general. I kind of just feel like over time that Rockstar is trying to delete that coding, that coding that allows the cars to be stanced up, that suspension to be damaged, but I'm not going to say that officially yet. As I said, let's bring this thing to the track and uh, let's see how she performs. Well, I figured we'd bring her over to old Heartland, but uh, she's raining here. I think the setting on this one can't be. I think it's just current weather, so thought I'd just whip her around a little bit in the rain for a second and she actually feels a lot of fun. Just the single gear drift in this thing is, it's very engaging. It's a, uh, and you don't have to hit it very often. Handbrake still sucks, that's for sure. Nah. 
No drop, no drop at all. However, that does not mean that we are not affecting the handling line. So I'm just gonna make sure I, I pump in a full mag into each one of these. I did a little bit more there in the front, but... Oh no, the engine's in the back. Okay, let's see if we can get something going in the back here where we can at least shoot the suspension. Let's try up front right here. Jesus. Now we did prove this to be a factor, even though you're not gonna see two drops as the standard stance would be. Um, and therefore it's not really stancing it. You're not actually messing with the looks of the drop or anything like that, but it does not mean you are not messing with the suspension. So I'm gonna see if I notice any big difference right away. It's hard to actually show something on video of how something handles and how something is different. That's why the whole wheel thing is still a debate to this day. Why you will see people just point at the coating and say, look at there's no difference in this. But you'll see people in the race community uh, ban certain tires, like off-road tires. Or you'll hear of drifters saying that certain tires are more slippery than others. There's just always these debates that go hand in hand. Well, it's very hard to show a difference of what you're feeling in the game. Right now, I'm not feeling any difference after I shot this car up as opposed to uh, not shooting it. Seems like it handles just about the same with the uh, single gear. I need to see if I can engage that speed boost though. I did engage it the one time there in the rain. Well, it's single gear drifts just fine in the rain. I'm struggling to get it to engage any type of... Oh, there it was. There it was. It does have one. I did engage the speed boost, so it does have one. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like it was at the top, but we were also going down that hill too. So yeah, the speed boost itself is very, very unresponsive. If it is possible to do, which we've seen it was possible to do, it's going to be one out of 10. You might have to figure out exactly. Once you really put some time into it, you might figure it out. The problem with drifting in this game is you don't really have that ability to just be at one set high speed all the time to engage that speed boost. And unfortunately, it's not like the... Um, the single gear is going to allow you to drift that fast. This is about max out for speed without shifting out. Yeah, and then as soon as you get into the inertia drifting like that, where it's more where you're relying on the, the inertia, as I said, the body momentum, it's going too fast to be in single gear to re-engage, but you're going too slow to be able to engage that uh, the speed boost. It's a bit of a conundrum there. The issue is also that you don't have a handbrake to really slow you down. I mean, I'm smashing my handbrake here. Acceleration, handbrake. Nothing at all. I mean, the normal brakes work better than the handbrake. Let's just hit the normal brakes ones. So let's hit them both together, the, the handbrake and the uh, the traditional brakes, left trigger brakes. Okay, so that'll get us some lockup. As I said, you have to supplement with them. You got to kind of pull them both. So yeah, you always have the left trigger to slow you down. I shouldn't act like you can't slow down just in general when you get into the, some of those more like something like this where you're going to whip it around. You're going to have to supplement on the brake a little bit, that left trigger brake. A great track kind of going to waste here with the old weevil and the drifting. However, I did not hold high expectations for this thing at all. I just wanted to get back in the uh, of the mood of doing the old does it drift. I have a list, a, a, quite the list of vehicles to do in this series yet. A lot of old vehicles that I should have tested in the past that just haven't tested yet. There's going to be some failures. There's going to be some that I know you guys will know. They don't drift. Guess what? I don't have any experience with them. And we're going to hop in and test those things. Um, there's a few in there that I know do drift and I've overlooked. There is also just some vehicles out there that are highly requested and people want to see. Does the Weevil drift? That's the question of this video. And I mean, single gear, yeah, you're going to get a little bit of single gear drifting. The problem here with this, it's just, it's not going to engage that speed boost efficiently. Not efficiently enough to use it as a any type of competitive drift car at all. I kind of hesitated there to say competitive drift car because that's not really all we're testing here. It's just a matter of does it drift? And yeah, I just, I can't give this thing a grade. Not an efficient grade at all when it doesn't have that efficient speed boost in it. With that said, guys, we are definitely going to move right into doing a does it rally on this bad boy, and I am definitely looking forward to that with this thing. It's full off-road, really, when it comes down to it, but uh, I look forward to getting that one to you guys, too. So, not only does PS4 have some content to look forward to releasing, 
So do you guys. Has Heartland even released this track? I don't even think this thing's released yet. So yeah, guys, we got some content for you guys coming on Xbox One for releases as well. Unfortunately, can't get this thing a grade in the Does It Drift. So it just, it's not going to do it. There's no point in beating around the bush anymore. It's not a drift car. If you do enjoy the drift content and you want to see more release on this channel related to the Does It Drift series and just drifting in general, make sure to leave a like below and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. As always, guys, hope you all stay happy out there. Please stay positive and we will definitely speak to you next time oh jesus the compact wheelies too oh my goodness it's not just a muscle car thing anymore huh